Hey everyone, welcome again to the art studio. So I am going to do some paintings on uh, little pieces of wood. They're the kind of pieces of wood that you would get from your home do-it-yourself store, uh, like where you would find uh, samples for flooring. Uh, I have a few of those and I'm going to paint over them and try to do some things with house paint again today. So let's see how those work. All right, so I obtained these samples. I was looking for some flooring for my bathroom and uh, I have this nasty yellow, brown and black tile in there and I was looking to maybe replace it. And so I have these samples that came from, I think the Home Depot store. I'm gonna see if I can use my house paint mixture on this and get some blooms. So my house paint mixture, you'll see I'll print it as I do my video, I'll have it come up there. It's a clear uh, gloss varnish that is one part and then three parts of untinted base paint. So this is a base three. So make sure when you're buying a base paint that's untinted for this mixture, um, ask the person who mixes your paints. The base three is one that you can mix darker colors with. Um, if you get a light base, which is, I also have, you're going to have to use lighter colors, so such as your yellows and pinks with this one. This one is really nice if you're doing pastels. This one, if you want deeper colors, you have to have a base that will accept those deeper colors. So mixing my colors with these, I'm going to use a white semi-gloss as my base on the right up against my wood pieces here. And after I put my color down, I'm going to use a cell activator, which is three parts Floetrol, one part of paint. And in these, I'm going to use a white. You can mix this cell activator with any color, but I'm going to try it with white today. All right, so let me get my gloves on and mix up my paints and okay, we'll get started. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have my paints mixed up now. The paints that I have chosen to mix with my untinted base semi-gloss paint is Amethyst and Deco Arts Extreme Sheen, Emerald Deco Arts Extreme Sheen, and Folk Art Paint Blue Topaz. So we're going to try those three. And cross your fingers, they end up being a good combination. They should be pretty. So this is my white semi-gloss paint only. I'm going to put that on as a base. And I do have my sides um, taped and the back tape just like I would with a painting. And I do have a little hose here, you can see. I'm going to blow out the, from the middle. We'll hope that that works really well. Got some bubbles going there. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna put my beautiful blue on the bottom. And you'll see for this kind of painting, you do not need very much paint. These are disposable, I guess they're like shot glasses. Got them from the dollar store. One more little bit there. So you see I'm just stacking dots. Now these were mixed up pretty quickly, so they have a little bit of air in them. I might want to get rid of the air bubbles before I start here. I hope these this color combination works really nicely. All right, so this is my cell activator. Let me make sure I have air bubbles gone first. Air bubbles will work with this, but I'm not trying to get blooms from air bubbles. I'm trying to see how my cell activator works on the top of this. So we'll see. Cell activators next. 
So I'm going to put a puddle of that in the middle. I'm going to move it all back a little bit. I want it in the actual middle when I start. And so this is really just an air hose that you would get like a, for an air compressor. And I have it tilted on one end so I can direct my air. See, well, you, it's hard to see in the camera, but all right, so here we go. See if we can get some blooms out of that. So what you uh, do is you let it rest a little bit. Some of these things are forming some blooms. Hopefully, I do have air bubbles again. And then I'm going to tilt this a little bit, but I want the blooms to come up first. Actually, this is on a Lazy Susan, so I might spin it a little bit, see if any of it comes out. Let me tilt this one a little bit and then I'm going to do another one and we'll come back to this one see how much it blooms. It is pretty. That is pretty. All right, so let me set this one aside. I'll do one more on camera. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do them in the reverse order with the purple on the bottom, or the green on the bottom, purple in the middle. Again, white semi-gloss paint. Got a chunk there coming out. Okay, let's go with green on the bottom for this one. And blue in the middle. So I'm just going to toy around with these ratios of color. Oops. I just got a big drip. I'm going to toy around with the ratios of color and cell activator with all of these and see which ones come out the best. Then I'll know what I want to do when I'm doing something important that's not just pieces from the Home Depot store. All right, let's try that one.
Maybe a little too much white in the corners of that one, or in the middle of that one. What do you think about that one? That one I might not, um, might not do too much with it. Let me just move it a little bit to just to get some composition. But what do you think? That one's kind of interesting. The green really kind of takes over with those, doesn't it? So maybe less green. Let me move this one to the side. And I'm going to pull you in so you can see the two that I've done so far. Okay, so here's the first one that I did. I think it's turning out kind of cool. And this one is very different. I see when I blew it a little bit more, got a little bit more mixing of the paints. But I did get some more cell or bloom action in the middle. So still I'll toy with some more of them. Thank you for watching. All right, so here is the result of all six of my pieces of wood. Now you'll see this one is tilting, tilting, just a little bit of tilting, a lot of white in the middle, a lot of white in the middle, a medium amount of white in the middle. So um, I still need to practice, I guess, just to see how I can get some satisfactory results with this. I think I kind of got the most blooms with this one, but I just want to play around with it, I think. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, at the end of this, I'm going to actually show you the last few. If you want to stay on the video for a little bit longer, you'll see me doing the last few.